Groundwater is the world's largest store of fresh water and the primary source of drinking water for nearly half the world's population. Groundwater consists of 97% of readily available fresh water. People usually do not know that uh, we have so much groundwater. Well, groundwater, as you know, is um, uh, utilised by nearly uh, two and a half billion people on this world. Their daily needs for a living uh, are uh, provided from groundwater resources. And therefore, a huge proportion of the world's population uh, relies on these. So it's not just the world's population, it's also natural resources, rivers, streams, coastal lagoons all receive groundwater as part of the freshwater towards their, towards their uh, ability to survive. And uh, because this is a uh, hidden resources, we will have to have uh, regulations in order to properly manage these uh, precious resources. And that's why the United Nations has undertaken the work of codifying the law of transboundary aquifers. Why transboundary aquifers? Because we have just finalized an inventory where we have evaluated already 273 transboundary aquifers in all continents. This is the same scale that has been identified for international river basin. But the quantity of water contained by this aquifer system is at least three times superior than the one is flowing in the rivers and the one is contained in the lakes. Um, as the climate changes, as the climate becomes more variable, um, water resources become more scarce, it's essential that, first of all, the people who use the resource, that's the village people, people in towns, villages, um, understand how to manage this resource, how to manage the water for their needs, uh, understand how they can use it in times of drought, in times of difficulty, uh, but at the same time also to help the governments to regulate, to help the governments to help them regulate uh, the way water will be shared between communities and between people. More importantly, we need to understand how to share the water between us, the people, and the environment. We have completed a set of 19 draft articles last year. We reported it to UN General Assembly, and the General Assembly uh, have given some time to the member governments to think about it. And in 2011, we will decide the final form of those uh, draft articles. UNESCO and the GF, in particular the GF International Waters Program, are now joined forces in order to evaluate how better reduce risk and human security and improve human security on water resources. Water scarcity is certainly a major problem in many regions of the world. These will be even worsened by the climate change impacts. Definitely groundwater resources could play a tremendous role in adapting measures in preventing of terrible situations like drought crisis around the world. Now when the UN decide uh, the final form uh, and uh, give a uh, blessing to these draft articles, this will help uh, many uh, state which have uh, transboundary aquifers to make an arrangement with their neighbors so that they could properly manage those uh, resources.